If I leave you here, that's where you'll find me on that beautiful shore. Let's meet by the river over on that beautiful shore. Let's meet by the river by the Spencers, and then uh, that was by request, and then Karen Peck and New River, uh, Bend in the River of Life. So we had a lot of uh, river songs there. 94.3 WKSL, we'll be back with a couple of more songs here at Saturday Gospel Grace after we do this. If you're buying new lawn and garden equipment this spring, the best time to buy is now. Because at Chambersburg Farm Service, if you buy now, you can pay later. That's right. With as little as 10% down cash or trade, you can own a famous dependable Cub Cadet mower or any Cub Cadet product from Chambersburg Farm Service. In addition to a great deal, there's no finance charge and no payments due for 90 days. You're guaranteed a great price, and you can use your new Cub Cadet through the spring, even into the summer, with no payment due for 90 days. And if you're prepared to buy now and pay now, you'll be able to take advantage of some terrific cash incentives. But hurry, this offer expires soon. Chambersburg Farm Service has grown into one of the nation's largest Cub Cadet dealers because of great deals like these and their very dependable service. Chambersburg Farm Service, conveniently located at 975 South Main Street. 
Hi, I'm Shelley Williams, and you know Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday, May the 10th, and response to my Mother's Day tribute was so great last year that we here at WKSL have decided to extend it throughout an entire day this year. We'll be playing special songs for and about Mother on Friday, May the 8th at various times from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. and passing along special wishes to the moms that are special to you. If you would like us to acknowledge your mother, grandmother, or the mother of your children, please send us a card or letter with that special woman's name. The address is Mother's Day, WKSL Radio, P.O. Box 10, Greencastle, Pennsylvania, 17225. Dedications must be received by Thursday, May 7th, so send them in today. Then be listening on Friday, May 8th, to our special Mother's Day tribute here at your good companion, 94.3 WKSL. This reminder, Reverend Mark Hatfield of Ohio is holding a revival of the Faith Temple Church in Searfoss, Maryland, nightly through May 3rd, tomorrow night at 7.30, except, uh, well, tomorrow night it will start at 7 o'clock. It starts at 7.30 tonight. 94.3 WKSL, here are the Isaacs now by his stripes. As he walked up Calvary's hill he must have seen us in his will and all the pain we would suffer here below but we've nothing to compare to all the pain he had to bear as jesus suffered willingly to make us the blood came streaming down from his body to the ground he was so weak from all the wounds he had received and when the crowds began to yell underneath his load he fell and once again Bishops tomorrow night and Andrew and Brethren in Christ at 7 o'clock. See you there. There are decisions I can't make on my own. And there are trials I can't face all alone. But you said you walk with me.
Mark, Kenneth Bishop, and uh, the boys there from Waco, Kentucky. In concert tomorrow night, 7 o'clock in the Antrim Brethren in Christ Church. See you later. Good Lord willing. This is 94.3 WKSL, Greencastle, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. 6 o'clock, the tone. AP Network News. I'm Sharon Gotkin. Following days of turmoil, a massive demonstration for peace has been taking place in Los Angeles. The AP's Tony Winton reports. Uh, we're live in Koreatown, Los Angeles, where a, a rally, a demonstration that sometimes turned into a party is winding down. Uh, there were tens of thousands of people here holding banners that read, Peace, Rebuild Koreatown. Uh, it was a family affair. Whole families were here with little children. I'm here with Raphael Hong, a student at UCLA. What was this all about? Um, well, basically the people that came out today was to show a support for the community and what happened. Um, we're, I'm just, uh, we're, our students and young people are just part of the small number um, compared to like the, the large number that people came on. We feel that we have an obligation to the community. We're not just excluded, exclusive in, you know, we don't live just in the campus or whatever. We feel that, you know, it's, it's, as a Korean American, living in this, you know, community that we have an obligation to come out and support what's going on and also to show, it's like a show, show of force. Okay, thank you, Raphael Hong, a student, one of the many tens of thousands of people out here demonstrating peacefully uh, in a rally for peace in Koreatown. Thank you, Tony. Officials in San Francisco are trying to decide whether to extend curfew and emergency police powers that kept the streets clear last night. Violence Thursday night left more than 100 downtown businesses damaged and resulted in some 1,500 arrests. The 1992 run for the Roses is now in the history books. The AP's Jim Militello has details. In a stunning upset, Lily T has won the Kentucky Derby, bursting the bubble of Super Horse Arazi. Jockey Pat Day earned his first Derby win on the track where he's the winningest rider by driving his horse past casual lies down the stretch and holding on in a time of 204 flat for a one-length win. Hammer's horse dance floor was third. Arazi looked like he would repeat his electrifying win from the Breeders' Cup Juvenile in November right here at Churchill Downs by accelerating from the back of the pack going into the final turn to challenge, but he ran out of gas on the last leg of the mile and a quarter to finish eighth nine lengths back of the winner, Lil E.T. Covering the Kentucky Derby, Jim Militello, Louisville. President Bush has called the family of the late Congressman Wilbur Mills to express his condolences. A family friend says an apparent heart attack killed the former Democratic lawmaker from Arkansas today. Mills' tenure on Capitol Hill spanned 38 years. President Bush now has a by-the-numbers lock on the Republican presidential nomination. He made a clean sweep of Maine's 22 delegates today by an AP count that gives him nine more than needed to assure nomination. This is AP Network News. Concerns about violence stemming from the Rodney King verdict and the Los Angeles riots have prompted North Carolina officials to delay a planned event. Clayton Henkel explains. Governor Jim Martin voicing concerns over the Rodney King verdict in Los Angeles has decided to indefinitely postpone Confederate Memorial Day ceremonies planned for Sunday. 
The governor says the Confederate memorial is a legitimate historical observance to remember those who fought in the Civil War, but flying the stars and bars above the state capitol could cause more racial friction. Martin says the verdict in the King trial was a judicial travesty, but he hopes those who want to express their views will do so peacefully and respectfully. Clayton Henkel for AP Network News, Raleigh, North Carolina. Shells are exploding in central Sarajevo, where the Yugoslav Federal Artillery is bombarding security forces of Bosnia-Herzegovina. It's the first time the Yugoslav Army has been directly involved in the fighting in the Bosnia capital. It's also the heaviest fighting since the war began more than two months ago. Residents are hiding in basements, doorways, and shelters. Environmentalists and others are gathering in hundreds of localities for a weekend called March for Parks. The AP's Paul Corson has more. The charity fundraiser this weekend hopes to build on the Earth Day movement to spruce up community green spaces nationwide. The event is organized by the National Parks and Conservation Association, whose president, Paul Pritchard, says thousands of people have signed up. Over uh, 250 parks across the country will benefit from private citizens who will join in what's called March for Parks, in the community in which the park is located. March for Parks is thought to be the only fundraiser directly benefiting a given park, and it bypasses the funding stalemates and cutbacks so often found in federal, state, and local government budget deliberations. Paul Corson, AP Network News, Washington. Authorities and witnesses in Jerusalem say a deranged English-speaking tourist ransacked the Church of the Holy Sepulchre today, smashing candles and tearing down a life-size crucifix. He reportedly shouted at worshippers to save the children and not pray inside churches. The man was apprehended by two bystanders and turned over to police. The church is built over the area believed to be the site where Jesus Christ was crucified. Comedian George Burns is dusting off a skit he did with his late wife and partner this weekend, and Bob Hope will be taking Gracie Allen's part. It will be only the fourth time that the 96-year-old Burns and the 88-year-old old Hope have performed together. Their show is at Caesars Atlantic City Hotel and Casino in New Jersey are already sold out. Sharon Gotkin, AP Network News. Here's WKSL. Once again, our temperatures are warm beautifully back up once again into the upper 80s. In fact, Hagerstown hit 90 today, 89 in Chambersburg. And where's the cold front? Because I sure would like to get some cooling relief for him here for the end of the weekend. Well, right now, the cold front marked by a band of showers over central Ohio that is moving eastward towards us. So for tonight, we are going to cloud up along with a few showers, thunder showers, and overnight low in the low 60s. Tomorrow, will be partly sunny, breezy, cooler, a uh, high in the upper 70s. And we'll follow it up then on Monday with a return of partly cloudy weather, although with the new disturbance approaching late in the day, there could be a slight shower and a high at 63. I'm meteorologist Alan Archer here at your weather station, WKSL. And our temperature reading here in Greencastle at the moment, outside of our studios, uh, under somewhat clear sunny skies is uh, 86 degrees at uh, six minutes past the hour of six o'clock. Your good companion, 94.3 WKSL, Greencastle, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. Now we invite you to hear commentator Ray Brubaker with God's News Behind the News, presented each Saturday evening at this time by God's News Behind the News and Burkholder Electric Service, Route 8, Box 66, Hagerstown, Maryland, offering dependable electrical service to meet your needs. Or telephone 813, area code 347-2463. You've been listening to God's News Behind the News with your commentator, Ray Brubaker. Now, until next week, same time and station, our wish for you is good news in Christ. Burkholder Electric Service, Route 8, Hagerstown along with God's News Behind the News, has presented commentator Ray Brubaker. For electrical work you can depend on at reasonable prices, call Burke Holders Electric at 301-790-0691. And be sure to join us again next Saturday at 6.05 for God's News Behind the News. And the time right now, 21 past the hour of 6 o'clock, on your good companion, 94.3 WKSL, Greencastle, Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. Time now for a program, Evening Gospel Greats, this Saturday evening, starting with the Down East Boys. <laughs>